Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to do a little comparison. Acrylic versus casein. Let's start by covering some of the similarities between the two. Both are water soluble and so neither require strong solvents for thinning or cleaning like oil paints do. Once dry, neither will lift or dissolve easily so additional layers of wet paint can be added to the underpainting and it will remain intact. Both types of paint can be sealed with varnish although I think there is a specific varnish for casein. So you can change the end result, either gloss or satin or matte. Both can be used in conjunction with gouache and watercolors. Both dry to the touch within minutes and cure completely over a few days to a few weeks. And both can be used as underpainting for oil paintings. All right, let's go over some obvious differences. Uh, the binder in acrylic is plastic, while casein uses a milk protein based binder. So acrylic has a little bit of a stronger emulsion. Both are very stable when dry. Uh, acrylic tends to be thick and gummy and sticky as it dries compared to casein, which is a little more fluid and a little more creamy. Uh, the acrylic uh, comes in many different brands and quality levels. So the prices vary greatly by type, brand, and color. Casein is generally more expensive than acrylics by volume. And the only brand I'm aware of is Richeson. So I'm painting some color swatches here to illustrate how the hues compare between the two types of paint, as well as how the values of each shift lighter or darker as they dry. So as we're looking at this, acrylic is going to be on the left and casein is going to be on the right. Acrylic tends to dry a little bit darker than when it's wet, and casein tends to dry much lighter than when it's wet. Acrylic is thicker and stickier, and the casein again is more smooth and creamy. The casein is very flat when dry and the acrylic is typically pretty glossy, although both of those things can be adjusted with varnish. The acrylic is almost always more transparent. They're both opaque, but the casein is much more opaque. So I only had a, an exact match for about half of the paints that I compared. In other cases, the orange, yellow, red, and green, I just picked uh, the closest match I could find in my collection of random paints. Hopefully you still find it helpful. Now, this isn't meant to be a comprehensive comparison. It's just a quick overview of what I know about acrylics versus casein. A few other things I've noticed when I was uh, doing this test. The casein has a very chalky feel to it and the acrylic feels a little slicker. Also the higher chroma paints like yellow, blue, and green in particular, the consistency on those was a little little different. It, they felt um, like they didn't go down as smooth. But as far as accessibility and ease of use, both paints are very flexible and easy to work with, very forgiving. They dry very quickly so you can work layer on top of layer, easily correcting or changing the, the work as you go. So I hope this is helpful to some of you out there who are trying to figure out the differences between acrylic and casein or debating which one to buy or which one you might want to try out next. Please ask any questions in the comments below. I'll be happy to try and answer them um, or guide you in the right direction. Thanks for watching. See you next time.